All right, today I'm setting up a Xerox Work Center 7556, and I'm just going to walk us through getting to the network settings and doing network setting setup. First thing that's kind of interesting that's hard to understand is if you just go to machine settings right here, you think that you can get to what you need to, but if you go into tools, which is where you need to go later, it doesn't have anything you need. So we need to figure that out. The best way to do it is go to login, and then your username, the default username is admin. So oops. So admin next. Default password is four ones. So one 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 one. Enter. And it's gonna log in just like that. Isn't that cool? So there you are. Next thing you can see is all these settings here that you didn't have before. We're going to go to network settings. Boom. In here, you can see the settings you need. DC, TCP IP is what I'm after. Look at this. So let's go in here and I want to set these. I actually need to set this for me. I need to clear it. Ours is. Nope. And then I'm going to set it back to the original um, ending it had, which was 205, because people will be familiar with it for us. So even though it used to live on a different class of network, I'm putting it at 10, 100, 100, 205. They remember the 205 for us. So I'm going to do that. And that should be it for that. Great. And once I press close, and I'm going to go into gateway, I need to change the gateway. Most of the time we do, so the gateway is now. Close, let's save that. <laughs> Subnet mask has changed as well, let me clear that. This is probably the subnet mask most of you guys use. Our main office uses a slightly different one with it being 255, oops, 255, 255, 2420, but usually it's 255, 255, 2550, which gives the ability to speak across that main network. So we've done all of our internet protocol safe, and that's pretty much it. We want to also put in the DNS configuration, which isn't as big a deal. <clears throat> so we'll put DNS servers, and really I don't need to worry about this. And you guys don't necessarily either, so I'm not going to show you this next part, but that's how you put in the primary DNS servers, secondary DNS servers, and whatnot. Now, if you want to set this up for DHCP and it was on static, all you'd have to do is go in here and remove all this and put it over DHCP. But again, the base login is admin. The password is 1111, and that is it. And later on, I'll show you what a web interface looks like on one of these and do settings from there. But that's it for today. Thanks for turning in, tuning in to NerdCheek for this little tutorial on the Xerox Work Center 7556.